Capitalism is quality versus quantity growth for economic commerce. Saving the planet from the irrational exuberance of qualitative capital growth that depletes the fund of natural capital as natural resources is challenging in this Anthropocene era where the profound meanness in material power has made an atheist god of capitalism. Small g. Inflexibility and non-adaptability were thought to be the characteristics of government instead of capitalism generally, yet in the corporatist era of networking and mass broadcast media networking, a pervasive ossification has ensued resistant to progress. Here is what can be done to rectify the political economy. Government direction of economic development toward qualitative rather than quantitative growth would be requisite for change. There are existing facts that can be changed, of course. America isn't a leader in environmental economics, and the second and third world will want to increase their production of greenhouse gases and extermination of ecospheric habitat along with it in order to upgrade their consumer comfort to something like that of the United States of America. The United States can't cut back its carbon emissions much. Even a 25% decrease would be shocking and virtually communist to some pundits. Instead, the United States outsources its material production to China and blames the Chinese for being the world's largest greenhouse gas emitter, burning uh, a lot of coal. When the American Midwest becomes a desert and the Mississippi River dries up, when Americans try to crowd into Alaska to escape global warming, the argument about reduction of greenhouse gases will be too late. The United States could act a priori and begin a vast desalinization of seawater for irrigation purposes, border control canal project. If it had the intellectual wherewithal to work macro physical construction projects of scale and more, instead it will seek after regulatory bureaucratic solutions for or alternatively scientific laboratory packages to solve the problems. Those unlikely policy approaches unlikely to be successful aren't likely to work, though some believe evolutionary capitalism will get to the right place eventually as needed. Capitalism doesn't need to be like an airliner taking off on a long runway, inflexible and unable to alter direction of takeoff. If terrorists armed with Stinger missiles taken from the Iraqi army are at the end of the runway, capitalism can invent and overdrive and qualitatively improve for Example, taking straight up, taking off straight up with electromagnetic lift and choosing any direction to be electromagnetically accelerated by a charged particle beam. Until airspeed is sufficient for its jets to carry it on. Qualitative change parameters selected for the survival of human life on Earth, in addition to full employment, well-being of America should be national priorities. The housing values of people regionally are different. In uh, the Texas area, for instance, creating an artificial environment, a very expensive neighborhood, sort of like a, a fairy tale land, is, is a way to improve in one's environment, actually, rather than uh, living in squalor and, and, and uh, the bare Texas environment. It's harsh. I was thinking around Houston, for instance. Um, whereas in the Northwest and Alaska, the environment is actually. Uh, better than anything that uh, people could construct for themselves as a, a neighborhood or environment, artificial environment. And so there are totally different values. Uh, the people in, in Texas and in urban areas tend not to understand the value of the environment being superior to that of human constructions. And the people of, uh, who like good environments often don't understand uh, the value of their own environment. The value of the environment is itself far greater than that of uh, human constructions, which are environmentally incoherent in a sense. They, they don't uh, provide anything for the survival and sustenance of life, sustenance of life. Um, and it would be possible, and, and the uh, networking of financial uh, investments in housing uh, drives the destruction of the environment. And, uh, there, there's just nothing, it, it, there's a lot of historical reasons why uh, that developed too. Not only is the Texas Gulf Coast a tough environment before the invention of air conditioning, the, the 
joke goes that only outlaws and mosquitoes live there. Um, but in Europe, it was the development of security, which you can see like in Italy, Italian houses, interior courtyards, shuttered windows, uh, just protection from other human beings was really important. And, and that defense and the walled city and building a natural uh, river courses where there was water, have, there have been characteristics in human development that invested in, were invested in, uh, and inertially invested in by capitalism such that they just continue on without recognition at all of the uh, overall destruction of the environment. Uh, and then there are the people who believe that the construction of their own uh, never never lands in a sense, uh, the, the, the Houston area with uh, homes that are like three million dollars for a in a suburban neighborhood and without even much acreage. Uh, is, is an example, and those are better neighborhoods to live in than, than just squalor and shantytown, yet in uh, where the better they make the neighborhood, the better they make the environment, the more pleasant it is to live, and sometimes even more green, yet in much of the environment of the United States and the Northwest, and certainly areas of temperate forests and some uh, of the plains, uh, it's easier, it would be far better to keep much of the environment. You could build a, a very high-tech, modern, small, uh, green-tinted, bulletproof glass geodesic dome uh, on a couple of acres and use minimal square feet and enjoy the outdoors uh, if one didn't have the security concerns so much. And security, could, and then there'd be a lot of wildlife uh, able to live in such an environment where People usually, uh, including California with their fences uh, <coughs> and homes, uh, make it uh, 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 land and the environment totally impassable. Um, like a draft animal, like a stubborn Missouri mule, for instance, capitalism, if it is to do more than browse the grass and work sexing like turbo donkeys, as in effect it means homosexual marriage is producing nothing, needs to be put to work pulling more than its own weight in qualitatively improving wagons. Capitalism and free enterprise should serve democracy and be given guidelines and parameters for progress to reduce the depletion of natural environmental capital. Actually, destruction of the ecosphere is a dumb trade since the creation and context of the environment is far more valuable and intricately complex than the comparatively simple, stupid materials manufacture of human technologists. Like little gods, as they might regard themselves politically, seeming incapable of successfully responding to the challenges set through democracy, through de uh, demography, capitalism, natural resource limits, and the bite of corporatism into uh, the areas that previously were uh, uh, politically democratic self-determination, has converted uh, America to a certain extent into something more like Athenian Greece with uh, some people enfranchised in a, a true democracy, mostly I suppose the rich, something more like not quite plutocracy, and, and a lot of helots, uh, the majority are uh, work there, they're, they're free, but their political opinion is not effective, non-existent, it's moderated and filtered down through by, and, uh, given to them by the, through the broadcast media. As a citizen of a democracy, that is ineffective at selecting presidential and general political leadership. It is frustrating to experience the juggernaut of environmental doom unhindered in its development. Additionally, there are too many people out of work. National debt is increasing. The flood of illegal aliens is likely to increase as the environment deteriorates over time. Quantitative growth encouraged by government intention should provide some qualitative growth encouraged by government intention and direction should provide some objective criteria for free enterprisers to work within.